Let's hope this thing doesn't camera fail for some reason. Hello, everybody. Xeno and Extra 76 for part five, I think. On uh, the whole Flood Non Me series. I think that's what I decided to name it. Well, as you can tell, I'm setting up things in the room again, but in a different way. So there it is. Look, almost looks like it never even happened. There's a slight seam if you really pay attention for it. But as long as someone lives in the room, you know, they have their junk and their crap in there. I don't think you could ever realize that they took that wall apart. So that's cool. And now that the paint dried, I am ready to throw everything back in here. And uh, I wanted to see if I could uh, mix it up a little bit in terms of design here. If you can tell from this new setup, I don't know. I was trying. To, I'm trying to go with something clean, and it's really hard because I have eight thousand things I use that require eight thousand cables. And that's really tricky to hide because I got things like my Elgato game capture, I have my Kinect, I have USB extensions for hard drives, other equipment to charge my wireless headphones, which I almost dedicately, dedicately, dedicatingly use wired for the mic quality when I record. I have hookups for all three screens. I have the plugins for all three screens, the plugins for the computer, the plugin for, there's probably another thing in here that goes to the Corsair. There's just wires everywhere and it's really hard to hide them. And I think I might need to do research on some people's build setups before I actually commit to even this setup because I'm actually having doubts in terms of the form factor. Cause like when you walk in, when you walk in here, it looks kind of neat. There's simplicity in it to a point. I mean, there's going to have a whole bunch of games on this bookshelf here. Hell, I don't even know where to put that bookshelf. And there's the setup right there. But I'm not even concerned about the wires in this setup anymore. I'm concerned about the heat. Because the 3080 is a power-sucking machine. Which means all that air is going to be going out towards these monitors and it's gonna feel very unpleasant to have someone like me get hit by that all the time, even with the window open. So as soon as I got to this point in the setup, I'm mad it took me this long to figure it out. I don't think I'm gonna like that. So I might just go with what I knew in terms of setup before, cause I know it still technically hits the heat through the, the monitors, but it just, it looked, more nonchalant I don't, I don't i don't i don't know i'm trying to convince myself to bail on this setup the only thing i really really wanted to go with this setup was i could hide a lot of the cables behind the these drawer things and the other one was if when i sit down um because the only thing i don't like is when i'm really into a game and this is just like a personal thing when i'm really into a game i got my headphones on i don't know when people walk in with the door when it's open or if they knock and I wanted to have it in my peripheral vision. Something over here could tell me. So you can see the reflection of the door there. In fact, I'll close it. So I almost wish I had someone filming with me. But look, there it is. So in the corner of my eye, you can see it with my hand over here. My peripheral vision can see anything in that reflection. If that moves, I know someone walked in, which means I can unfocus from there and look from there. And that was the main reason why I wanted to get a setup kind of looking like this. But it's kind of tricky to make any sort of setup in this room with what I have because this stupid door for the bathroom, the way these corners fall, flow into each other, the where the window's located, where the dresser, the, what do you call it, the closet's located, because it's like, I could block it, but I need to access things in there all the time, especially if I do a green screen recording. In fact, actually, I didn't think about this. I could actually go all the way to the wall to record and put the green screen right there for whenever I need to do anything. It's actually kind of cool. And obviously I don't know what to do with this desk, but I don't know. I might deal with this for a while just because I want to get it set up and I can do stuff again. We're hitting the five minute record limit because Samsung, Samsung. I don't know if I'll do a second recording right away, but... I was also trying to get VR done so they can actually see it in the right corners. There's a lot to consider in this setup because I have so much crap. I didn't even consider the index uh, cables and all that junk. The charging cables, we're about to hit the five minute record limit. So I'm gonna go into part two, give me one sec. 
yeah, this video is definitely longer because there's a lot more to talk about. But yeah, there's so much junk. I have so much junk. I get so jealous when I see people with really cool setups. And they look so simplistic, but they still do everything they need to do. And it looks nice. Like, uh, just being organized is a challenge for my brain. <laughs> I could do it in Windows all day long, but in real life, where you actually have to try, <laughs> it's, it's tough. I don't know where I'm going with this 100%. I'll see if I can make it work. I'll look at a few setups in terms of hiding cables. Um, I guess my biggest reason why it's hard for me to hide cables is the way these desks are set up because there's nothing. People usually use those IKEA drawers to just rise up a board and then put their screens on it. So I, I've been jealous that I, I don't have an IKEA. I'd have to get shit delivered here. But yeah. Tons of cables, yeah, even more cables. We were talking about the Oculus, not the Oculus, the Index. I have my webcam. I have the plug that goes to my light that I use when I'm streaming. I mean, good God. Like, I need to, I actually do, I just need to take a minute and look at setups again. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna deal with this setup, see if that heat issue is going to be a pain in the other fucking ass. Motherfucking ass, sorry, my brain. And, Hopefully things work out well. Like I still need to figure out where the connect will go because I use that in my streams and I use that for recording um, for specific angles. And I don't know if I want to get a long cable and put it behind me right here or have it all the way over here because the TV could get in the way at the right angle. It's, it's all so, so tricky. I just need a bigger room like the, the biggest thing, like, as much as I think this place is okay to live in, I really kind of want to live by myself in, like, a one-bedroom apartment or something just so I have more access to, like, the living room and use all that. And I don't know. That's just stuff that's been on my mind. I wish I made lots of money, but I don't work enough to do that. And my job pays close to minimum wage, so you can never really make a lot of money. I don't know. I don't want to turn this into a woe is me, my life sucks, I need to get my shit together kind of video. That wasn't that wasn't the direction of this vlog. But yeah, super tricky. I don't even know what to do with this desk. Like, should I keep that there and then have it where I can put stuff on there? Like maybe film the connect so I can actually play the connect on this side. Because I still have to film a little bit more for the Sonic Freeriders review at the time of this recording. That thing has been in production hell for about seven months because of my lazy ass and uh, script, because I'm bad at scripts. So this is all going to be very interesting, but I don't know. This, this is going to be the way it's going to be for a while. I'm going to force myself to see if I like this setup. Worst case scenario, I might flip that thing and that thing. I just like this because it's skinnier and it gives me a place to put my headset because I'm going to have an extremely long USB-C cable go around and I can just place this here when I'm not using it. But yeah, I'm going to go like watch that Jay's Two Cents video of him setting up his room. He's just like, hey, guys, guys, like a bastard. Uh, talented bastard. But yeah. Got to deal with the cards that I've been dealt with. I hope you guys enjoyed all that orienting, but until next time, I'm going to set up crap and try and do stuff for my last day before I go back to work. See you later, everybody. And look, there's gravel there. The gravel will prevent the water from leaking right. <laughs>